if you clicked on this video, you probably think you're ugly. Or you've probably heard somebody tell you that you're ugly, which I get it, it hurts, it's hard, it's harsh. And if you bear with me, I'm gonna get even a little bit more real with you. I'm, I'm gonna get more harsh with you. To be honest with you, I don't think you're ugly. I've said this before. I don't think there's ugly dudes. And if you are maybe a little bit harsh on the eyes or not easy to look at, most of the time when I've been able to identify these, it's errors on your part that has been leading you down that path. So you could either sit there and try to cope with it and beat yourself up or you can get up and learn these six mistakes that you're probably doing on a consistent basis that potentially could be leaving you permanently ugly. That was long, but you get the point. Let's hop into it. Number one. Drinking this bull crap. You see, most people don't understand that just one can of soda has about 39 grams of sugar. According to the American Heart Association, the average male should only be intaking around 37.5 grams of sugar a day. Meaning that just one can of this bull crap puts you above the daily average. And you want to know what happens with all that excess sugar that you end up drinking or eating? It just turns into fat. Since sugar contains pretty much no fiber and protein, it's very easy to be intaking sugar all day and never feel satisfied or full, which leads you to over intake sugar. And that sugar ends up being stored as, well, you guessed it, Fat. Number two, having these disgusting sweat stains. Guys that sweat excessively or have hyperhidrosis to the point that they're sweating profusely and that they can't control it is a tough battle to deal with that can easily make you feel ugly. If you notice that no matter what the order you use or what steps you take into action, you're still sweating profusely nonstop, it's time that you actually go into action with different resources. I would sweat bullets to the point that there was a point in my life where I was literally using toilet paper to stuff my arm pits as pads so they could absorb the sweat before it would seep through onto my shirt like this. It was that embarrassing for me. So I can imagine exactly what you're going through right now if you sweat profusely as well. Until I found our sponsor Sloan. Boys, these undershirts, you've seen me talk about them all the time and wear them all the time. These will change your life for multiple reasons and also make you feel more attractive. First of all, wearing an undershirt that's pretty much invisible is the best and most effective way to get rid of these sweat stains. When you wear an undershirt, you have a protective layer that absorbs the sweat before it allows it to seep through to the exterior layer. So you have nothing to worry about, even if it's a nerve wracking date. So they sell them in different skin tone colors. You're supposed to go on the site and pick the one that matches your skin tone closely. When you find that one and you put it on, what you're gonna notice, it almost disappears. Since the shirt matches your skin tone color, you can even throw on a white t-shirt or a regular shirt over it and you can't tell you're wearing an undershirt, which in my opinion are the best types of undershirts. Undershirts should not be seen. On top of that, Sloan undershirts have a deep v-neck cut, which allows you to unbutton a couple buttons and you can still show some man cleavage with, again, without having to show that you're wearing an undershirt. Sloan undershirts are great because they come with a little bit of elastane. So as you can see, these shirts almost fit like compression shirts. They're very form-fitting and that's on purpose. Functionally, they're not gonna be interfering with your dress shirts or causing awkward bolts. And even better, since they are that almost compression style shirt, they do a great job of keeping everything tight and almost smoothing things out. So when you wear a tight t-shirt or a dress shirt that's fitted, your dress shirt isn't gonna be contouring into your love handles or any man boobs or anything that you don't like to see or any sort of imperfection. So boys, if you guys wanna check out Sloan, they're gonna be linked down below. The special code's gonna be there as well. Go ahead and pick some up. Number three. Being, being too quiet. Let me ask you a question. When somebody hits you with a, hey, what's up, what's new? What's your go-to response? Chances are, not much, what's up with you? You end up saying this because you don't wanna talk and you're too shy or you think your, your life is not important enough to talk with other people about it. So now, people perceive you as boring, which permanently, in their mind, they see you as unattractive. You see, attractive, confident people are great conversationalists. Even if your life is not filled with drama or adventure or you're not a freaking celebrity, you can always come up with a story. Have a story ready anytime you meet somebody new that you can deploy so you can have a great conversation. And you can force yourself to do this every single time so you yourself become that great conversationalist. And it can be anything, like you're moving to a new apartment, you're remodeling your room, you're planning a vacation, the school you're planning to attend or applying for. 
Maybe you're starting a massive new project at work or you're starting your own business. It doesn't matter what it is, you can have a story ready. That way, anytime you meet somebody, you got something entertaining to talk about. Number four, you just complain too much. You see, complainers, they never get things done. Personally, I could have sat down and started whining about how God gave me a fast metabolism and because of that, I was a scrawny, lanky, tall ass dude with a big head that walked around as a lollipop. I could have easily done that. Or I could have gotten up, realized the problem, figured how to solve the problem, which would be put on mass, and now balance my proportions so I felt and looked more attractive. I chose the latter. And this is because nobody really wants to listen to a whiner or a complainer about stupid stuff. And then to add assault to injury, the fact that you don't act upon what you don't like ends up making you permanently unattractive as well too. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change the way you're looking at it. Number five, having large pores. At the end of the day, we all want buttery, soft, silky skin. That's what looks attractive and handsome and whatnot. Having massive pores just makes your skin oily and look dirty. The reason you have those massive pores is because your oil glands are overproducing oil. This oil then ends up sitting inside your pores and stretching out the pore itself, which is why they appear big and why also your skin ends up becoming very oily. Well, there's a simple solution to this. Again, find a problem, figure out a solution, and then put it into action. Use cucumbers. Cucumbers is a natural ingredient, a vegetable that they've been using in spas for I don't know how long now, and it's for a reason. Cucumbers naturally have an ingredient called silica built in them that when you apply it to your skin, not only does it make your skin look newer, but it also helps shrinking down your pores. And finally, number six, popping your pimple. Look, if you want to pop pimples all over your body, do so, but on your face, never touch them. The reason before this is because your nails cause permanent micro tears and damage to your skin and the surrounding areas. And if your hands are dirty, not only are you going to reinfect those micro tears, but also you can cause acne scars. Acne scars are a permanent damage that could scar your face and again, make you look permanently ugly. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are six things that you and I do all the time that could be making us permanently ugly. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, boy Sloan. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.